the disciples still, their agenda is still focused. Jesus points out three things. One, he is to be handed over. Two, he will be killed. And three, he will be raised on the third day. There again, they're stuck on the first two. They're not paying attention to the third. Their agenda is too small. And indeed, that agenda does not fit anywhere into what their hopes and agenda were when they first responded to Jesus' call. Cannot see the forest for the trees. Sometimes you and I are very much like the disciples. We're so pinpoint focused, so laser focused on one little thing that we miss everything else that's going on around us. Some days we're so focused on our own agenda that we can't see the agenda of God, the moments of grace that we enter into willingly for the life of the world in imitation of Christ. And so my sisters and brothers, take a moment sometime throughout the day and take out your smarter than me phone. Go to the calendar or the agenda page and take a look at the entire week. See how many things are in there. Certain things are necessary, granted, yes. But certain things that we want to make time for, sports, movies, now that things are opening up and we get back to these things, oh, we'll plug those into the empty spaces. But is our agenda too small or too full to allow for the agenda of God to bring moments of grace, not only into our lives, but in and through us as well, and our willingness of discipleship to bring those moments of grace to the world.